Hey there, welcome to uh, part two of my series on Python. We're doing an introduction to Python programming language. Uh, last time, you know, part one of this series, I showed you how to uh, download and install Python and how to you know, get started with idle uh, to write our first hello world program, right? So very, very basic stuff just to get us started. Um, in this part two of the series, I'm going to show you a couple more things, just really brief. Um, I wanted to show you or introduce you to two different types of modes that you can use Python with, I guess you could say, or that you could run Python in. Right? So we are going to have um, interactive mode uh, is one mode that we're going to be able to do. And you saw uh, last time when we did the low world program, you saw the second option. Right, which is script mode, script mode, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so just wanted to show you briefly, you know, five minute little video, uh, how to get started with interactive mode and then, um, and then uh, script mode. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and get started. With, to get into interactive mode, what you can do is, is you can start your, go to the drop of the command line, go to the command shell if you're using Windows, right? You can do something like this. You can um, ask for the command line, right? Or command prompt, I guess you could, you could say, right? And select that, and that'll get you your command prompt window. And then if you type Python, right, that's going to get you into interactive mode. Okay, now when you're in interactive mode, basically what you can do is you can type in commands, right? Um, Python is an interpreted language, and so when we're, inter when we're in interactive mode, then whatever commands we type, right, whatever statements, if you will, that we type into um, the Python interactive mode, or um, as it's commonly called, the Python shell, will actually execute, right? So this is really handy for being able to <clears throat> test some things out and before I suppose, you know, we committed to a script or, you know, before you uh, get too far into things. If you just want to try something out, right, see if your syntax works or whatnot, you can just type it into the Python shell and there you go, right? So in part one of the series, I showed you the print function. Um, so why don't we just use the print function, right, in the Python shell right now, right? So. If I were to type print and then um, pass a string literal as an argument, you know, like um, you know, spam and eggs, right? And hit enter, well then you can see right there the shell, the interpreter, automatically executed that, well not automatically there, but it executed the command, right? Now, you know, I can, you know, the with this just one thing to, to, to notice here the, the triple brackets here that's the prompt right and then you type whatever command you want to execute right so I can <clears throat> enter multiple statements if I want to I can do something like this I am Arthur right hit enter right I am Arthur and then I can print Britons okay so I can continue um, typing in commands and have them executed over and over and over again, right? So as you're learning Python, interactive mode, you know, also known as the Python shell, really useful for, you know, just testing things out, right? Just playing with things, okay? Now, that's an example of um, interactive mode. What if I wanted um, to run in script mode, right? Well, script mode is more traditionally what you would think of as a computer program, right? What we will do is just create a plain old text file, right? That has our Python commands uh, written inside of it. And then we can execute them from the command line, okay? So let's do a couple things here. Oh, well, let me show you how to quit the, the shell here, the, uh, the uh, Python shell. You can just close the window, obviously but you can also type quit just like that, right? 
And that's a function that says, hey, terminate interactive mode, kill this shell, and right? we're back to back to our command line here, right? So if you want to write a Python script, if we want to run it in script mode, what we'll do is we'll write a program in Python program script, kind of interchangeable, okay? What we can do is we can use any text editor that we want, right? In this case, I'll just use Notepad, right? And <clears throat> type in our commands in to a plain old text file, right? So if I do something like this, print, I am Arthur. Okay. King of the Britons. Okay. Now I've got myself, well, let me save it. I guess I'll give it some kind of name here. Um, we'll just say, um, you know, test.py. Right? Can't think of anything too exciting to name this file. Right? So now I've created this text file on my desktop. I'm going to call test.py, and uh, I'm going to need to go to my desktop. Okay, now I've got my shell script, right? Test.py, hello.py is left over from that first tutorial, but test.py, right? Now I want to run this thing in script mode, right? I have this two command program as, as it were, right? So if I want to actually run this now, Okay. What I can do is type Python again, right? and this is going to invoke the Python interpreter, followed by the name of the script that I want to run, the name of the program that I want to run. Hit enter, and there we go, right? So there's us running this from the command line. Okay? And then, just to tidy this up, I guess, in the interest of completeness, how about we start idle again? Right? And notice how it's the Python shell, right? This is Python shell through idle. Okay. But anyway, let's open um, the file that we just created. Right? So let me go find it here. It should be on my desktop. So test.py. Right? So now we can see we've got our program, our shell script. Well, it's not shell script. It's going to be our Python script. Load it up. And then if I want to run it from within idle, then run the module, right? And so there's my output, okay? So I think we'll go ahead and cut this video here. Uh, in this video, I just wanted to show you briefly that you can run Python a couple different ways, right? And I wanted to show you um, script mode, interactive mode, which is you know, also known as Python shell, and then you know running stuff from idle. Right? So we saw three different ways to do things, and we saw that, you know, sure, I can make, you know, I can type commands into the shell and have stuff happen. I um, also showed you that I could create a plain old text file and type my commands into that and then run it from the command line. And then, of course, I could use idle like we saw in part one. Anyway, so that's it for this episode, if you will, of uh, my introduction uh, to uh, Python series. That's part two. Uh, if you found this useful, please consider uh, subscribing and hitting that like button. Really appreciate it. it helps me out a lot. Please leave some comments. Let me know if uh, this video, if uh, this is good. Your feedback is always appreciated. Good, bad, or different. Um, please stay tuned, and probably shortly I'll have a part three for this series. Okay. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.